In this demonstration, I will show you how to install Microsoft Office 2000 with XML support on Ubuntu Karmic 9.10 using Wine 1.1, also known as Wine 1.2 Beta. To begin, we will need the following. A PC already installed with Ubuntu Karmic 9.10 a licensed copy of Microsoft Office 2000 with Service Release 1 already integrated into the setup and Microsoft Office compatibility pack for 2007 file formats. We will be downloading this later on in the demonstration so you don't necessarily have to have the file at this point. To begin, we're going to go ahead and load up the desktop. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install Wine 1.2 Beta. Now, if you already have the production release of Wine already installed on your system, you'll need to uninstall that first before you install Wine 1.2 Beta. Otherwise, you're going to have uh, conflicts with uh, different versions. Now, um, as you can see, I opened up a terminal and I'm typing the app gip install Wine 1.2 into the terminal and you'll be able to see the same command that I just typed in on the lower left. And the setup takes about a few minutes depending on, depending on how fast your system is, so I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and abbreviate the setup here. Okay, the installation of Wine 1.2 Beta has completed. So at this point, we're just going to go ahead and minimize the terminal. And now what we're going to do is we're going to configure Wine. And the only thing we're going to do is just add user information. And that step is real simple. So just click on Applications, go to Wine, go to Configure Wine. And it takes a few seconds for it to open up. and you want to click on the About tab and under Owner and Organization you want to put in whatever whatever you want in that field uh, for this demonstration I'm putting User User and I click Apply click OK and that's it for configuring Wine now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step which is installing Microsoft Office 2000 from the CD so go ahead and insert the Microsoft Office 2000 CD-ROM into your PC and let Ubuntu automatically mount the CD-ROM. Now it's important for me to reiterate that you would need Office 2000 with at least Service Release 1 already integrated into the setup to get XML support. So go ahead and right click on the CD-ROM and click on Browse Folder and then look for the setup.exe file. You want to right click on the setup.exe file and you want to select open with Wine Windows Program Loader. Office Setup will open up, then it will prompt you for the product key. So just go ahead and enter the product key. And after you enter the product key, go ahead and click on Install Now. And the installation progress bar will immediately move up to 100%. This is normal. It will appear as if nothing's happening, but Office is currently being installed onto your system via Wine. So you just have to be patient. And ultimately, the installation will complete, and you'll get a brief message telling you that the installation was successful. And so at this point, you just go ahead and click OK. And go ahead and close your CD-ROM folder. The next step is to download Microsoft Office Compatibility Pack from Microsoft's website. So just go ahead and open up Firefox, go to Google, and type in Office Compatibility Pack. And it should be the first item on the search list. So just go ahead and click on that first item. And it will take you to Microsoft's website, and, it, and the title should say Microsoft Office Compatibility Pack. 
for 2007 file formats. So you want to click on the download button. And it tells you that your download has already started, but technically you really have to manually start the download by clicking start download. Click on save file. Okay, so go ahead and close the download window and minimize Firefox. Now that we have the compatibility pack downloaded, we're going to go ahead and install the compatibility pack onto your Office 2000 installation. So find your downloads folder and you should see the file that you just downloaded. It's called File Format. You want to right click on that file, select open with Wine Windows Program Loader. The license agreement will come up at that point. Uh, just go ahead and click on accept and click continue. And the progress bar will disappear, which will then be followed by a successful message. Just go ahead and click OK. And go ahead and close the downloads folder. We have now completed the installation of Office with XML support. All we're doing at this point is testing out the installation by opening up Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So just go ahead and click on Applications, go to Wine, go to Programs, go to Microsoft Word. During the first initial opening of Microsoft Word, you'll be prompted to install the Office Assistant you may choose to install the Office Assistant if you like. However, I've seen instances where Wine has problems with the Office Assistant. So um, usually I just say no to this option, which will then be followed by a brief licensing agreement message. So just go ahead and accept that. And it looks like Microsoft Office opens up just fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and close it. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Excel. And it looks like Microsoft Excel opens up without any problems. So I'm just going to go ahead and move on to opening up Microsoft PowerPoint. So I'm just going to go ahead and close Excel and open up PowerPoint. I'll select blank presentation, I'll click OK. For the slides, I'll just click OK. And as you can see, PowerPoint is functional. So I'm just going to go ahead and close PowerPoint. Finally, I want to show you briefly that Microsoft Access and Microsoft Outlook does not work very well with Wine. So I'm just going to open up Microsoft Access and I'm just going to go ahead and select a sample database and immediately I get an error message. Um, and now I'm just going to try again. This time I'm going to open up a blank database and I get an error message also after after I'm being prompted to save the database as you can see. And it's pretty much the same for Microsoft Outlook. You'll get an error message initially. If you click OK it will give you the uh, Outlook 2000 startup, but ultimately it will continue to error out. Generally speaking, the purpose for installing Microsoft Office onto Wine is to get XML support for Office 2007 file formats and also to be able to use a familiar interface. An alternative solution to getting XML support is to use OpenOffice, which is also part of Ubuntu. So both options are achievable. It really depends on what you prefer. Thank you for watching.